Yep. And it looks like, and well, I'm sure we'll get into it at some point, it looks like the baseball guys, see, it's, it's getting closer again now. Now they issued a joint statement. Uh, MLB is offered a 60 games. Uh, Clark says it's in, in Manfred, I guess, have agreed that's kind of the fr basic framework of a deal. They got to do some more tweaking, maybe add a few more games, and we could be off and running here. Well, I, yesterday, John Heyman tweeted that they were really close so yeah. i got all excited and then i wake up this morning jeff passon from espn saying yeah they, they got close but the players want more than the 60 games mm -hmm. so i don't know where that stands now well I'll just tack on a few games <laughs> and let's be done with it i think I know, I know it seems easy i think i mean the mind. owners are finally offering 100 percent prorated uh salaries which they never did before so they got that part down <clears throat> so, but apparently the players aren't happy with the 60 games. They want more. Well, the, 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 that shows you the players want to play. They want the money. They're not going to sit out over a couple games. No. So the, I wouldn't the, think so, yeah. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're going to figure this out. Well, look, if Manfred and Clark met face-to-face, -face, which was a good news, at least they weren't you know, meeting over Zoom, but they, they met face-to-face -face in Phoenix for, I don't know, I think I read five hours. Mm -hmm. So there was a five-hour meeting. Um, I would think that they meet again today and hash it out and get it done. And we should find out by the end of today that there's an agreement. I, would I know hope. the stakes are high, obviously, but could you imagine being in a five-hour meeting? We, we, would, we bristle at five-minute meetings. Those guys are in a room for five hours. And that's probably a short meeting for them. They're oh. probably in all-day-long sessions, meeting after boring meeting. Right. Just sounds terrible. So, do you think we're going to get some good news by the end of today? <clears throat> I don't know if it's by today, but I think I think they're going to knock this out. I mean, whatever. I don't know. I think we're getting closer within a few days, and uh, we'll have a date. And guys, guys will uh, yeah, we'll see them back at spring training part two. This is what Passon said in his first paragraph. He said, "Major League Baseball and the Players Association found themselves at odds again Wednesday following a face-to-face -face meeting between." Manfred and Clark tempering optimism about a potential return to play deal. Right. Following it was a four hour meeting cakes, four, four, not five. Okay. So only four. But MLB owners emerged believing the framework of a deal had been agreed upon. Sources said the union ag disagreed with the accounting. Players Wednesday said they view the proposed sixty game schedule as too short. I don't know. I mean, come on. They're gonna get it, Jason. Don't worry. God. You're going with the ebb and flow of it. They they're gonna figure it out. They know they need to play. They're not going to pass up on all that money. It's too much. And they're These also going know. to, um, I guess, in the proposed agreement was expanding playoff teams from 10 to 16. So you'd get eight from each league. Mm -hmm. All right. And that's for not just for this year, but for next year. So mm -hmm. wouldn't that be interesting if they played a full season next year, you know, 162 games, you're going to have 16 playoff teams. I don't know how they would do that. I guess they would do one versus eight, two versus seven, that sort of thing. Um, and they're, they're More the have, barrier, as far as I'm concerned. Yep. Uh, DH in both leagues. Hmm, that's what some people are saying. That's going to be the big uh, sort of fallout from all of this is that uh, DH might be here to stay. Right. Well, that's long the, the, overdue. I mean, no, nobody cares about watching a pitcher hit. I, I like watching about Scherzer tradition. hit. Okay, I like watching Scherzer. Some of the pitchers, they're fun to watch. All right, so there's one outlier. that And he, he, no, he plays for the team you care about. Otherwise, just let the guys who actually get paid to hit, hit. I guess. It, it, for me, honestly, I, it, it kind of is a little peek inside to their sort of athleticism. I, I, get, I, I get sized watching pitchers go up there and see them sort of battle. You know, I mean, they're huge underdogs up there. But I don't mind it. I mean, it sucks that it's often an automatic out. But when they do get the wood on the ball and they, and they, they get a hit, Every once in a while, when those guys will jack one out once or twice a year, it's it's pretty freaking cool. So I like it. I like that element of the game. 